In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use the power of nested prefabs and prefab variants to build UI in a way that is both flexible and easy to customize. To nest a prefab in Unity, we drag an existing prefab asset into another prefab. We can also create a nested prefab by creating a new prefab asset from our hierarchy containing an instance of a prefab. Nested prefabs retain their links to their own prefab assets, while also forming part of another prefab asset. In this demo, we have a card UI prefab that we can drag onto our playing field. The card causes a unit to spawn. However, each of our card faces look the same. I'd like to make a number of different cards for the player to use. However, I'd like to make them all look very similar to this card, but with a different icon and a few other changes. We can achieve this using nested prefabs and prefab variants. As you can see here, each of our card data assets, which are scriptable objects, currently hold a reference to our card playable prefab. Instead, we're going to make a unique prefab variant for each of our card types and give the card data assets reference to those. Let's double click our card playable prefab asset in the project window to open it in prefab mode. Then let's create prefabs for the elements in the card that we want to retain common throughout all of our variants, including the health icon here and the attack icon. Let's create a new folder called Card Base Elements and drag both of these into the folder to create a prefab from each of them. Now our card playable is a nested prefab. If I open up the health asset and make a change, we can see those changes are reflected in our card playable asset. Now let's create our additional cards as prefab variants using card playable as a base. In our project window, Let's create a new folder called Card Variants. And then, let's right-click on our Card Playable Asset and choose Create Prefab Variant, and let's place that into our Variants folder. Now let's open up the Prefab Variant in Prefab mode, and let's set the portrait to our Archer's image. So we've now got a Prefab Variant that is based off of our Card Playable Asset and using our Nested Health and Attack Icon Prefabs. Prefab variants inherit the nested prefabs from their base prefab. This means that if we open up our health icon again and change the value here, you can see that it is updated across both our base card playable asset and our new Archer card variant. This is useful for making changes to multiple prefabs quickly. Let's continue to make our variants for each of our cards. I've now got four prefab variants for each of our cards and each have been assigned to their own card data asset. As you can see, when I play the game, each of our cards now have their own cards with their own icons, but they're all sharing the same base prefab asset. If we make any changes to the base prefab asset, such as, for example, setting the frame to red, then when we save and play our game, we can see that all of our card variants are also updated. In the current variant I'm editing, I've moved the attack icon to the top of the card here, and I quite like how it looks. However, if I open any of the other prefab variants, my attack icon remains in its original position. This is because prefab variants will only reflect changes made to the base prefab they're inheriting from. So any changes made to our Archer variant here will not be reflected onto our other variants unless the changes are made to the card playable prefab instead. In our inspector, any properties that have been changed or components that have been added in our variant are known as prefab overrides. These are highlighted in the inspector with a blue line and a bold label, or shown with the plus icon on the component. To apply the override back to our base prefab, we can right-click on a single property or component and choose either Apply as Override in Prefab Card Playable, or because our attack icon is also a prefab asset nested inside the card playable prefab, we can also choose apply to prefab attack to apply the change to the attack prefab itself. However, I don't want to apply these changes to the attack prefab. I only want to apply them to our card playable asset and any variants of our card playable asset. So I'll choose apply as override in prefab card playable. Now, if we open our other variants, we can see that the change we made to our attack icon in the Archer prefab has been applied to both the base prefab and its variants. 
as you can see, it's now extremely easy to build scalable and customizable UI using the power of nested prefabs and prefab variants in Unity. If you'd like to explore nested prefabs and prefab variants to see what you can do with them, you can download the free example project using the link in the description below and give it a try for yourself. Thanks for watching.